another day, another crash. Unfortunately, there were two today in both in the big men's races that was Burgos as well as Poland. So anyway, this is a disastrous race, Burgos. This finishes horrendous. Downhill, a joke. Speed bump, a joke. David Decker's eating the front of his handlebars, a joke. So what you'll see here is this is the speed bump and he's just he just didn't see it. I mean, they, I'll show you how fast they were going in a bit because it's absolutely crazy. But he just didn't see it and just got like, I guess, hit it and just went straight forward. And you can see like, you know, he's, he's straight over the handlebars, basically. Like complete chaos. Everyone ends up crashing into them. I'm not going to show any more footage because it's absolutely horrible. But like, just mental. Like, how have they decided there was a good idea to whack a speed bump on a downhill finish like that is just beyond me. Um, we'll go have a look at the speed now because um, it's pretty crazy. So this is Eduardo Rafini who finished like third on the stage. So you can see it was like a right-hand corner. So it's a downhill finish, which to be honest, like, is not great because the speed's higher, like 100k an hour, yeah. But it's not like they're sprinting there. So it's like the last part is 56k an hour. That's actually not that quick for like, you know, it's obviously quick, no denying, but it's not like stupidly quick. But I think the thing is, it's, it's the last little bit when everyone starts leading out, and it gets up to 76 kilometers an hour. So I reckon they hit the ground at 76 kilometers an hour because it wasn't very far before they turned. Like if you look at, it was about 700 meters to go, 700 meters to go, like, you know, here they're going 75, 76 k an hour. I mean, it's like, I think that's when it's hard to excuse because that's when the downhill running is really not, is not very clever. I know it says it's uphill here, but Strava's being, Strava's being stupid. But, oh, the, maybe the last part is actually uphill, but this part here is definitely downhill. Um, and I think it's like one of those things where obviously a sprinters hit 70k an hour, but there's a significantly less of them competing and they have very good skill level compared to like world tour pros in terms of like, obviously all of them are very skilled, but the sprinters are even more skilled because they often race at 70k an hour or like average, you know, GC contenders, lead up people, not as used to 75k an hour. And it just means more crashing. Like, so the crash has a higher severity. So anyway, I think that was, that was a pretty bad crash. Um, inexcusable in my opinion. Um, and also a turn in the last 200 meters. I'm pretty sure they, they, there's a thing in the UCI rule book where it says, actually it's 300 meters, so it's okay. They say you can't turn the last 200 meters and Poland, Poland broke that. Um, then we're going over a tour of Poland. I don't think, like this is bad, but it's not too bad. Anyway, it's really hard to see, um, unfortunately. Like I can't really get any good high quality images of it. Uh, but there's this right hand, if we look at this Jumbo Visma man, you can sort of see his left wheel, his uh, front wheel, left wheel, front wheel, uh, is slid out and then basically that causes a massive pile up behind and FTJ get away. Again, I don't think it's like, it's one of those ones where it's not great, but at the same time, like, you know, it goes from a motorway to like a four lane road to a two lane road, okay. But a two lane road, 90 degrees, 900 meters to go. I don't really think you can blame the organizers like that is just donkeys going in too fast. And like, I think Burgos, fair enough, 100% organizers, like why do you have a speed bump? Just, just choose a different thing. Or, you know, you just have to have a different finish. You just you just can't finish that, like having a speed bump in the run in like that. It's just, it's just stupid. Um, I think also it being downhill probably didn't help because you couldn't really see it as easily. But this, like, I don't want to be like, you know, condescending to professional riders or anything, but surely like a right-hand corner like that, you know, it's just, it, it should be fine. Um, that's my personal opinion. It's like, it's, yeah, okay, Poland has a lot of dodgy finishes. I don't think that this bit here is... There are more dodgy parts afterwards, but this part here where everyone crashed, just people going in too hot and then uh, slid out. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick video. Uh, I've got some more mm, sort of longer in-depth videos coming out about some guys who have turned pro recently. Um, so keep your eyes tuned to that. And I'll see you in the next one.